hello everybody welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to wash your hair with cold process soap scientifically speaking it may not be right but i'm going to explain some terms to you and i'm going to give you tips on the best way to use it keep in mind you don't have to always use commercial shampoo on your hair and i'm saying this from experience commercial shampoo has a lot of uh, toxic chemical often you know believed as a uh, non-toxic so be careful when using commercial shampoo if you love to be natural like me you should go with um, organic hair care products and organic hair care products, depending on what you are going for may be expensive and some may not work now let me show you briefly how to wash your hair with cold process soap cold process soap have high pH the pH can range from uh, 9 often times to 11 and that is not good for hair air ph is uh, acidic it's between 4.5 and 5.5 so if you use an alkaline product like soap with ph between 9 and 11.5 on your hair chances are it's going to damage your cortical right but there are ways you should do it there are easy ways you should do it trust me some i'm a cosmetic chemist i'm a trained cosmetic chemist my colleague will tell me it's not right but as a creative cosmetic chemist that i see myself i mean a little bit not too perfect i believe there's nothing bad in trying and there's always a way you know to go about everything for this trust me you can wash your hair with this but keep in mind it may take some time for your hair to get used to it so you have to deal with those time but if you follow my instruction okay anytime you want to wash your hair it's really going to help make sure you don't wash your hair every day with alkaline soap once a week is okay much better uh one and a half week is even much much better but once a week is all right now let's go about it the first thing you want to do okay is to super fat your hair if you know how to make soap remember we used to super fat our soap right now the first thing you want to do is to super fat your hair meaning I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil. It's the best oil to use for supervating your hair because it's a uh, thick oil. It's good, okay? So what you want to do is to put oil all over your hair. So um, you, we call this pre -poo. So pre -poo your hair, but if I'm to say it uh, from a, a co process perspective, we're going to say super fat your hair. So you want extra fat on your hair to protect your cortical because something is coming that the cortical may not like, right? So let me just uh, adjust my, so that you can see my desk well. Okay, perfect. So we're going to super fat our hair, put some oil there, okay, to get things together. So prepare your hair with oil. I always recommend extra virgin olive oil okay so that's the, that's your first step the second step you need to get yourself apple cider vinegar okay get yourself apple cider vinegar and take half apple cider vinegar okay and uh, i'm going to go and get my apple cider vinegar and i'm going to show it to you i don't have it right now so i'm going to pause the camera i'm going to go get my apple cider vinegar i'm going to show you that so get yourself apple cider vinegar it's okay this brand is all right it's the most popular one so you can get yourself this so what you're going to do is that you can take 100 gram of apple cider vinegar and add 100 gram of distilled water to it so 100 gram of apple cider vinegar add it to 100 gram of distilled water right then put in a spray bottle set that aside we're going to use that to do uh, vinegar herrings right after using it the purpose of that is because when you use a cold process soap on your hair it's going to make your hair temporarily alkaline it's going to raise the ph up the normal ph of hair is between 4.5 and 5.5 now if you use a soap uh, with ph between 9 and 11.5 on it it's going to raise the ph so that's the purpose of doing apple cider vinegar rinse then after that we're going to do another step finally to put to restore our hair so why all this rest because it's natural it's all right there's nothing bad in all this rest because it's natural that's just it 
you're going to get used to it and you're going to love your hair. Now it's going to take a while for your hair to get used to this. So get ready for that. Now let's move quickly. So after preparing your hair with uh, extra virgin olive oil, okay? So you have oil on your hair. That is going to a bit, I wouldn't say it will lower the pH because it's not, scientifically speaking, that's not the right word to use. But make sure you put enough opposite the vine, uh, not a, enough extra virgin olive oil on your hair. pre pull okay. Normally we do that, it's just to strengthen our hair cuticle, okay? But for this one, it's going to protect your hair cuticle and to reduce the, the effect of the ash alkaline soap, okay? Then the next thing you want to do is to put a little bit of water on your hair. Then you're going to put the soap, as always. So because we've already put, um, we've already put oil, it will not ladder them that much. You don't want too much of that ladder, okay? But it's going to work well. I don't have a, a wide space for my desk here, but I want you to get this with me once and for all. Once you have prepared your hair, that's the first step, then you're going to put in your soap as usual. Okay, don't let it stay too long on your hair. Not for anything, you know, this saccharine soap lads as well. Okay, so don't let it stay too long on your hair. Just use it to rub as usual. Okay, take it out. What I'm working on here is real human hair. Okay, so my mannequin has really my hair, so don't think I'm showing you what I'm not. So just rub it from root to hand. Don't worry too much. You know, sometimes when we worry too much, it will affect the outcome. Don't worry too much. But hey, Again, I'm still going to warn you, do at your own risk. Don't expect any magic. It may take a while for this, you know, for your hair to get used to this, especially if you haven't been using it, okay? But be rest assured that it really works for my hair and for some of my friends. So you can do at your own. It's not like something you have to do. It's not like a must. But if you love natural, you can. So now um, I'm removing the, I'm removing the, the soap and oil now, okay. You don't want, remember, just like I said, you don't want that to stay too long on your hair, okay. So rinse your hair as usual. I'm going to take this off. It's going to be a lot of mess. Bear with me. Then the next step is is to spray your hair, okay, with apple cider vinegar, okay. It's very important. This is apple cedar vinegar. I here have 100 um, gram of apple cedar vinegar and 100 gram of distilled water. So use that to spray. Put that in a spray bottle and use that to spray your hair. From the root, okay, to the hand. The essence of this is to raise the pH of our hair, okay. Even though we call it apple cider vinegar rinse, it's not a rinse or to say you want to spray and you don't want this to stay in your hair for so long. Make sure it gets through the scalp and the hair. Remember, I'm spraying with the spray bottle. So half apple cider vinegar and half distilled water mixed together in the spray bottle. Use it to spray your hair from root to the hand. So once you know it has gone through, 
your entire hair. You have to protect your high because this is, is going to really hurt your high. We allow it to get to your hair high. So don't let it get to your high. Okay, so after that, rub in and gently, okay? Rub it in gently from the root to the hand. Rub it in gently. Okay, gently. At this time, the, the pH of your hair is slightly, you know, okay now. It should be where we want it to be. I may even be slightly acidic, okay? more than uh, 4.5 so it may even be three at this point so once you are done here take cold water okay take cold water and use it to rinse your hair make sure you use cold water cold water to rinse your hair you have to let it stay though at least maybe for one to three minutes okay how long should the apple cider vinegar stay on my hair. One to three minutes is enough. Just rub it in from root to hand. Then use cold water to rinse your hair. Make sure you rinse it very well. Rinsing part is very important. Cold water to rinse your hair is very important. Okay. After going through that apple cider vinegar rinse, Use cold water to rinse your hair. Okay. Take it out. Squeeze the water. And it's time to style your hair as usual. There's no other thing you should do here. Okay. Style your hair as usual. What you will notice is that you still have effect of the pre-pull. The slight effect of the pre-pull. Okay. On your hair. But it won't be uh, oily. Okay. And that's about it that's about it. if you follow my instruction like this you won't have any problem using a uh, cold process soap on your hair it's just going to be a regular you know step as usual make sure you squeeze out excess water and dry your hair dry and style it as usual I mean that's about it for this uh, process there's no other thing that you can really do that can change things around but this is going to now your hair should be okay your cortical should be fine because we um the acidity level has increased okay instead of being alkaline and prone to damage now it's perfectly acidic and good to go now you can put in your conditioner put in your sp spray style as uh, as usual there's no other thing you should do here than just if you have a conditioner I recommend you put a conditioner so if you have a conditioner at this stage you can put it but don't forget to dry your hair okay dry your hair style and condition your hair so in my other series in my next series I'm going to show you um, the best way to uh, the best product to use on your hair i'm going to be recommending some product to you as well when it comes to hair care uh, some organic hair care product i will be recommending to you that i do recommend to my clients and this about it so at this at this stage you can just you know spray if you have hair spray organic hair spray that's fine use it to spray your hair this is not necessary, but you can just use your regular um, styling product. The first thing is you make sure you put in a conditioner. I highly recommend an organic conditioner. Trust me, organic conditioner is always the best for your hair. It's just going to make the cortical, it's, no, it's going to soften your hair, okay? And uh, that's about it for this video. I don't want to go more than this. So if you have any question about using cold process soap to wash your hair and what uh, to do after you can drop in the comment box below because i know a bit about hair also okay because i do formulate uh, hair care products so i know how the hair works so you can also ask me if you have any question about the hair and this about it you can use as much as but just make sure uh the cold processor that you use for your hair 
make sure there are some beneficial oil for the hair beneficial oil like hemp seed oil um, macadamia nut oil uh, sunflower oil these are very good safflower also but not too much but macadamia may not oil broccoli seed oil baba oil uh, babasu oil instead of using coconut on your hair make sure you go for um for cold processed soap that has babasu oil or hemp seed oil baba oil broccoli seed oil macadamia nut oil and those are things that are really beneficial to your hair. I hope this video has helped you out. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, click that subscribe button to be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching everyone.